I do think it's a problem. I, and I think that there's kind of a lot of reasons for it because there are different types of cheating that kids can do, whether it's accessing uh, spark notes and other sources that give kids information, or if it's actually like bringing a cheat sheet in, um, or going to the bathroom and checking your phone for answers. Um, I, I think it's a problem. I think cheating is always a concern, I think, in, in any school setting. I think uh, the drive for students to succeed is pretty great. And, um, you know, the, a, B is, a B is a failing grade for a lot of students. So I think sometimes they, it gets the better of them and uh, they, might, they might cheat. For me, what I've actually caught uh, over the past couple of years has been plagiarism more than any sort of kind of um, cheating on a quiz or on a vocab quiz. So I've read essays and recognized that this is something that someone has gotten off of the internet. That's the biggest way I've seen cheating in my class. In English, the classics here, they plagiarize uh, papers or they try to cheat on vocab quizzes. That's pretty much, or other type of quizzes, that's pretty much the basics. I've had kids write on little pieces of paper and try to hide them, but it's pretty obvious when somebody keeps looking away from their test back and forth. One is just sort of glaring at somebody's test answers. The other one would be sharing, you know, on like uh, homework or a project or something and being like working on it together when you're not supposed to be working on it together. But there's the old fashioned things that I've seen, and this isn't so much here at WA, but I have seen kids, you know, like write answers on their hands or, you know, put answers on their hat, you know, wear hats here or um, write answers in a racer on the desk. That's a fun one. I'll generally talk to the student first, and then uh, if I need to, go to guidance, but mostly it'll be either a failing grade on the assignment or a zero. Student would get a zero for that assignment. I have to email and contact their parents and the dean. Um, I've never had to do this, but I also think it could affect kids with National Honor Society. If I saw that name come out on a list, I might think twice about whether I need to say something.